Drive-By Truckers are a country rock band from Athens, Georgia, which is in America. Uh, they've been active since 1996 and are still going. They've had some turnover of members, uh, and at times they've had a three-guitar lineup. Uh, Jason Isbell was a member of the band for about seven or eight years. They tour a lot, and they have produced 14 studio albums and seven live albums so far. Hi, my name's Dan. So this was the third studio album by Drive By Truckers, um, and it's my first time listening to it, but it's not my first exposure to Drive By Truckers. In fact, I reviewed one of their albums uh, not that long ago in this list. Um, and that album, I wasn't, I wasn't hugely impressed by it. Um, and I have to say my response to this album is different, so um, I did like it. So, spoiler alert, I like this album. Um, so, let's talk about what it is. It's, um, it's their opus magnum. Or it, was the, it was conceptually going to be their big work. And in fact, um, the, apparently, the concept of this album was somewhat part of the driving force for forming the band in the first, in the first case. Um, but it took them two studio albums and a live album to get around to doing something of this grand nature. Um, and it's it's themed. I wouldn't say it's a concept album. I'd say it's a themed album. But they're all songs about uh, Alabama. Um, and particularly talking about Southern life. Uh, there are uh, comments in here about white supremacy and the civil rights movement. Uh, but the, the kind of common theme that is hooked in is, is uh, Leonard Skinner. Uh, who were a, a southern rock band, I don't know if they're still going, um, from back in the 70s. Um, it has a kind of another thing, this theme of music in the 70s, uh, particularly uh, their exposure to music um, in their late teens, particularly, and life as a teen. But I, I think some of these stories that are here are not meant to be themselves, but are meant to be stories about uh, stereotypical or archetypal uh, Alabama people. Um, there's um, the so the style I would definitely say is southern rock. I would not claim that this is country. There's uh, maybe one or two tracks where the singing feels a little on the countryside, but generally it's not. Um, there's uh, a lot of musical nods to. Uh, uh, Leonard Skinner, uh, especially I, I kept being reminded of their uh, their song "Sweet Home Alabama," which I really like. Uh, um, uh, so yeah, musically I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's quite varied in its recordings. There was at least one track that was a little bit hissy in the background. I don't know if that was just the the copy that I ended up with. Um, there are at least three different singing voices going on. Actually, there's a female voice at some points as well. Um, so there's different... It's got this feel of different voices and different kind of approaches. Uh, the tracks that I like most were the spoken word tracks. Uh, there's a couple of those on the on the first album. I, CD, I should have said... Sorry, disc. should have said it's a double album. So it's quite long. There's a lot of this stuff in here. Um I particularly also liked Road Cases, which was a song kind of focused on uh, gigging equipment cases. Um, and, um, yeah, interesting to build a song on that. Um, yeah, so I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it quite a lot more than their, pre their previous album, than the album that I previously reviewed. Um, and I, I do like a themed album. I felt like I liked the storytelling i liked what they had to say i liked the complexity of it um i liked that they were um they were kind of saying just because we're from alabama doesn't mean we're racist um uh, kind of message trying to come through as well but uh all sorts of uh, interesting stuff going on here so for me it yeah it was a, a bit of a winner um so how do you feel about this album um, and there's a really good way for you to let me know because there's a comments box somewhere underneath that and I read all the comments. I'm always interested to see what people say. I often comment back as well. It, we've got this nice feeling of community that we're starting to get going. So thanks to my regular posters. Um, yeah, please talk to me.
And uh, seeing as I'm waffling now, I might as well say, if you haven't done already, please do subscribe to the channel um, and follow me along on this journey that I'm going on reviewing 3,000 albums. It's a, it's a huge undertaking. Um, hopefully we'll get there. Uh, so that's it from me for now. I grew up in North Alabama back in the 1970s when dinosaurs still roamed the earth. I'm speaking, of course, of the three great Alabama icons, George Wallace, Bear Bryant, and Ronnie Van Zandt. Now, Ronnie Van Zandt wasn't...